Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm kind of excited to show you today's topic. It's combining a map with cities and a map with states. Let's grab, let's double click the states, get a map of the states. Um, we want the states colored, so you can either come under marks and hit map, or you can come over to the right here, show me, and select the filled map. All right, so we've got the states. And we actually want these shaded or colored by region. So we happen to have a region field. You might have territory. So now we've got by color. Now we'd really like to see what the city, some information by the cities. So we're going to left click, control, left click, the alti the attitude, latitude, sorry. Bring it over. You can see it's making a copy. Let go. And there you go. Now we have two maps. So on the second map, you see the details are by state. We're going to bring the city under the details as well. If we take any, so now you see all the city information. If we pull off the states, we get the, this message here, 405 unknown. That's just telling you that Lincoln City or something like Lincoln City can show up as Lincoln City, Oregon, Lincoln City, Nebraska. There might be a Fayetteville in a couple different states. So let's leave the city and state both under details. Now, we don't want these colors here to be matched the region, so we're going to pull them off. Now we're going to bring the sales, drop that on to size, and now we can make it bigger, make it smaller. Nothing's changing. What's the matter? The issue is that this mark is still showing up as the map. Now we need to come here and change it to circle or square or shape. We'll do circle. And now when we change the size, it changes appropriately. A little bit big. Now when we overlay it, just like any other dual axis, come under the second item, second pill map, dual axis. And there's the chart. It's a little bit hard to see the cities, so I like to change it to red. And so now you have cities identified by size on top of the region. I thought it was a cool little trick. Uh, it's pretty basic, but it's a good reminder and shows you another way to use uh, dual charts together. Enjoy. Let me know what you think. Thanks, and please subscribe.